It's the only place on YouTube where you can learn how to take a 10 minute job and turn it into a half an hour. Hey, good morning everybody, Cruise Man here out in the garage and it is an absolutely beautiful morning. Probably about 68 degrees, really great. And I'm getting ready to take on a little project that I've been meaning to do for quite some time. Weather is so great today, this is the perfect time to do it. I'm gonna install this universal trailer hitch rack from Show Chrome and we're gonna find out, is this better than pulling a trailer? This video is sponsored by Cruise Man's Garage Honda Goldwing Maintenance Video Series. So I got this part a while back and I've been meaning to install it and basically I already have a trailer hitch installed on my motorcycle. If you don't have a trailer hitch, uh, I'll put a link in the description down below because Show Chrome does make a trailer hitch assembly for your 2018 plus Honda Goldwing. And of course you could use this to pull a motorcycle trailer. I have a Bush Tech trailer that I pull using this trailer hitch. This is not a show chrome trailer hitch, but they're all pretty similar in their design and function. And this is one that I've had for five or six, you know, four or five years. And uh, anyway, what I've got is a big ass uh, crescent wrench because this is the only wrench I've got that's big enough to fit around this bolt here and then I'm going to use my channel locks uh, to hold on to the bolt underneath and I've got to remove this uh, hitch ball. This is actually uh, the bush tech and then we're going to install this over it. So let's get started. Oh and by the way I'm going to put links in the description of the video to this uh, hitch rack as well. Now the idea is once you get this installed you can basically uh, bungee cord or rock strap anything to this hitch rack and it gives you additional storage space when you're on a road trip or when you're going around town or whatever. I also want to emphasize the term universal. You don't have to have a show chrome trailer hitch to make this work. This should fit just about any trailer hitch that you have on your Honda Goldwing. And this will actually work on any year model Goldwing. It's not necessarily for a 2018 model. Any motorcycle that has a trailer hitch should be able to use this hitch rack. So let's take a look inside the box here. We've got our installation instructions, which uh, typical show chrome, they're very, very easy to understand. This has some of our mounting plates, and then this is the uh, rack itself. Uh, I would say this looks to me like it's been powder coated, very, very sturdy, uh, very nice welds actually. It looks to be uh, like you would expect from show chrome, very high quality. So I'm anxious to get this installed. And I'm using this dark towel because that way I can see all these little screws and washers and bolts and nuts and things. I noticed there's four of these five millimeter by 12 millimeter bolts and there's one smaller five millimeter by eight millimeter bolt and uh, I will explain what that does later. These two plates actually fit one on top of the other and then we'll secure it with four bolts around the side. Didn't have to worry about that coming off. Okay, I'm going to clean this up really good. There is an old Velcro piece that I had installed underneath this hitch. So I'm going to remove that. It's that 3M dual lock fastener. I don't use it anymore. So I spared you the boring part of me cleaning the underside of this. It's uh, beautifully smooth now. I've cleaned it and got it all where I want it. 
So the instructions show that these plates, which go together, obviously the holes have, the big holes have to line up. Uh, they show that the, the short distance between the back of this plate and this hole goes toward the motorcycle. And the larger space goes toward the, toward the rear of the bike or toward where this uh, hitch plate is going to install. Now I'm going to go ahead and just put my trailer hitch pin back in through here like this. And this actually stays on the bike. Once you install this, this will remain on. You know what I think I'm going to do? Now that I've got this in, this isn't going anywhere. I'm going to go ahead and put my eight millimeter bolts in. These are the eight by 12s. There's four of them that hold this plate together. And then we have a lock washer and a nut that goes on each one of these bolts. There's the nut, there's the little lock washer. Okay, so I'm an idiot. I had to take this back off. I took the uh, trailer hitch pin back out because I forgot to put the little star washer. This goes underneath between this plate and the trailer hitch. So I had to take it off anyway and actually Show Chrome recommends that you install these bolts and nuts, you know, with this off the bike. You don't have to have it on the bike. It doesn't buy you anything. It just makes it more difficult. Got a nice little ratcheting wrench here. I wish I could still get these from Craftsman. They're great wrenches. A socket would probably be a better solution here. All these tools, and I never have the right one I need when I need it. This should do it. Okay, now that we've got this all locked down, I think we're, we're good to go now. We're ready to install. Can't forget this. This goes here. This goes on top of that. And then we can install our our hitch pin. And they say there should be a lock washer between this nut and the underside, which makes sense, but I didn't have one on there. I think it's probably because there's a nylon locking ring on this nut. Probably makes it unnecessary, I hope. So when you watch a Cruise Man video, it's the only place on YouTube where you can learn how to take a 10 minute job and turn it into a half an hour. It's a rare talent, it's a gift. Because I promise you, this probably should take about 15 minutes. Of course, I'm having to videotape as I go. Now you wanna make sure before you tighten this down that you've got this thing pretty square because there's really nothing to hold it to you know, prevent it from turning this way. So want to make sure it's pretty square. And then I'm going to give it one last good hard tighten underneath. <clears throat> That's on there. It ain't going anywhere. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how it goes in and you can line up these little holes in the back and it's very sturdy. I think I've got these holes lined up. Yeah. Here we go. It's all the way in. And the last step is just to lock these in place. Like I say, they kind of work like a, kind of like a safety pin. Like that right there. Now the instructions say that you have the option of installing this little, I think it's like a five millimeter bolt. I'm probably gonna install it because otherwise I'm gonna lose it. And that goes in this little hole right here 
Not sure if you can see that. And all that does is it keeps this from rattling. I think if you did not have something secured to this rack, a bag or some other equipment, uh, if you're just riding around, it could rattle a little. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in just because, like I said, if I don't, I'm gonna lose it. Of course, you will have to remove or loosen this uh, whenever you want to remove this rack. Yeah, now it's now it's super solid. It makes no rattle at all. It's not going anywhere now. So just for grins, let's take a measurement here and show you how much room you've got to work with. It looks like you've got about 15 and 1 8 of an inch this way, 15 and an eighth. So say 15 to be safe. Yeah, over here it's nine and a quarter. So mine has a little bit of an arch to it, I t just enough, maybe an eighth of an inch between here and here. So if you go to this corner, you're looking at about nine and an eighth. Now there is a curve here. So you, you, know, you have to allow for that too. So the challenge is gonna be, where am I gonna find a bag to fit this? Or a case, or something that I can put tools in, or, a, or clothing, or something in. But it'd be enough where you could pack some clothes in there. You'd be able to put some, you know, a, you know, a jacket, and maybe a couple other uh, pieces of clothing in there, and it would give you that additional storage space. You could use it for a toolbox. You could use it for a small ice chest. Uh, I can think of several different things. And now if you have one of these on your motorcycle, uh, let me know in the comments down below what you use it for. Maybe send me some pictures and show me what kind of bag you're using. Are you using some sort of case or are you just strapping some sort of equipment to your rack? I'd be real curious to know how you're using this. I think it's certainly a uh, less expensive alternative to a trailer, and if you're riding solo, and you don't need all the space that pulling a trailer offers. Uh, this might be a good alternative. Obviously, you have to remove this if you're gonna pull your trailer. Thanks for joining me today. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That's much appreciated. It really helps out the channel. And I look forward to seeing you on the next Cruise Man's Garage installation tips review video. Until then, remember to ride often, but ride safe. Mm -hmm.